Welcome back. It's honestly hard to imagine a 650 Big Red. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. I know it is. I should have brought the Big Red in. Yeah, grab it. All right, we're getting the Big Red. Pretty boring video if we didn't actually have the original sitting next to it. Start. Always start. They always start. <laughs> so, is this your first time on a three-wheeler? Before we get too far into this video, don't forget to hit that like button. It really does help us out with the YouTube algorithm. It gets these videos out there. And something like this, I really do want people to see it, get some feedback. I want your opinions, guys. And uh, we're, we're just super pumped to uh, building these crazy builds that we do. Also, hit the subscription button. You don't want to miss out. We got, we got some crazy giveaways coming up pretty soon. Now, guys, I'm going to insert some clips uh, that were found on the internet. I always uh, kind of admired the the lifted, big, massive looking 250 Big Reds that guys are building. They're doing big board kits and all that fun stuff. So it's kind of what inspired this idea. And uh, if you guys didn't see the first video of us discussing this, uh, that's where it all started. It was just me riding on a Sunday, ripping my, uh, my Big Red over there. All right, guys. So the point of this video, she doesn't know yet. Babe, what's the point of this video? You're probably going to talk about the utility charge. There we go. See? I just thought, man, we gotta we gotta build a modern version. It, it's coming. So, if you guys like utilities, comment. Let me know what you think. What's up, guys? Didn't forget about you. Got some uh, pretty cool updates on this uh, modern big red. This thing should be on the ground in the next couple of days. I'm getting damn excited. Been a long road, just getting everything designed and I guess uh, built the way we want it. I'm gonna show you guys the bike real fast. Then we'll head over to the computer and show you what the clamps are gonna look like. Gonna have those cut out probably tomorrow. Welcome back. Dude, what, what's going on here? Um, we tried to use a smaller tire, but now we're gonna go back with a bigger tire. Cause I can't ever make up my damn mind, can I? No, but it's all right. It's all so, right. That's what we're here for. So guys, we tried going with a 27912. We're not happy with it. So this thing's going back to the same size all the way around, just like the original. We're actually running a 27 inch tire. Looks pretty sick. I'm excited to see what this thing looks like. Left the fork leg right here. Yeah, yeah, we're just getting everything mocked up. We got bits and bobs all over the place. Bits and bobs and things and stuffs. Yeah. So, interesting uh, cutout on this exhaust right here on the XR. Actually, we'll clear the ATV caliper really nice. So, we already got this converted to TRX 450R. We haven't really done an update video on this bike at all. I don't think anyone has seen this except for maybe the video yesterday. And I kind of blipped it in there real fast. Yeah. <laughs> you know, this thing should be on the ground in the next like day or two. You can't really make shit up, but the material truck broke down today and didn't make it here. Story of our lives. Which it never ends. All right, guys. So let's take a look at the top clamp. I'll uh, grab the OEM one real fast. So if you've seen our 450Ls that we've built in the past, we always add the piece here for the key. Um, it just looks OEM, looks clean, and we got it right on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip this around. You guys can kind of see what I've been working on. Oh, this is legit the, I'd say widest clamp I've ever made. Um, quite a bit wider than what we're used to. And it's cause we're getting around that wide tire. So it's, it's just what it is. Uh, we had to come up with some new fixturing and all kinds of fun things that uh, goes into it. As you guys know, we have the fourth axis now. So we've been speeding up making our clamps, but it just takes a little while to get everything drawn up the way we want it. So that's the bottom clamp, got the steering stops built in. I added a bunch of extra mounts on here, uh, more or less to mount a rack to it. So if you guys uh, like my rendering, I'm gonna insert a clip of that right now so you guys can just kind of get a rough, just get a rough idea of what that's actually gonna look like. I'm, uh, I'm pretty pumped, I really am. I think this thing's gonna be badass and uh, can't wait to get it next to my big red. I got mine out in the trailer right now, but uh, we're gonna bring that thing in once that thing's on the ground tomorrow. And uh, I guess just do a size comparison. So it should, uh, should look pretty sick when it's done. Now, I just wanna show you guys the real reason we didn't go with the skinnier tire. So here's a big red fender. Let's set it on there. It just doesn't fill the fender out. It looks kind of awkward. So take this same fender. Believe it or not, it fits this 27 inch tire perfect. This is the same exact tire we're running on our uh, tire kits for the original Big Red. 
So you can see how it fills it out real nice. So that right there is gonna make this thing pop like crazy, just having that fatter tire in the front. It's only right we do it that way. And uh, I think it's gonna look the best like that. Now this is just mock-up fenders. I have another set in a box. Um, there's another set up there. Oh, that's so much better, dude. So much better. Yep, I'm gonna try to zoom out here. Flip that around for me, actually, and so I can see the other side. I'm gonna, here you go. I'll kinda, I guess, zoom out, go back to the rendering. Man, that is gonna be sick. So close. You got there? I got foot pegs. So I wanna hold a foot peg up on here. So one thing we are gonna do, I'm gonna hold it like, yeah, there you go. Well, I just wanna show, I guess, what we're starting with and what we're gonna end up with. Um, so our goal is to actually tie into these mounts right here for the passenger peg that's no longer gonna be there. We're gonna build a heel guard right here and have it come out. So this thing's actually gonna have a heel guard on it, which is, it's nice. You wanna run your leg over with that big ass tire right no, there. Please your um, this axle is just mock up. It's something we had laying around the shop. Swing arm is done. Uh, it's just got a bunch of fingerprints on it, but all the linkage stuff is done. It's it's badass. Um, we added we got some mounts underneath so we can uh, build a tow hitch and hang it underneath. Things gonna have plenty of ground clearance. It's gonna get one of our built sprocket guards. Gonna have the disc guard. We're gonna put a skid plate under the motor too. So yeah. We're hoping we can reuse this seat and just work around it. I doubt that's gonna happen. Um, worst case scenario, it's gonna get chopped. Um, best case scenario, we can more or less build something to hold the plastic, because we already mocked it up, and believe it or not, it actually lines up really well with that seat. Um, the seat's just a little bit skinnier, so we're gonna bring the plastic in a little bit, plus run the Mayer fender flares, and I'm pretty pumped to see that. Should've brought the big red in. So it'll look cool Please. sitting next to it. Still can. We still can? Still can, we grab it. All right, yeah, might as well. We're getting the big red. Be pretty boring video if we didn't actually have the original sitting next to it. Let's get it out. Let's pull it up next to it and see what it looks like. Oh! oh. Grabbing the old girl or what? Found the big red. Oh, there it is. It's hanging out. What do you know? Same tires. Just have it sit. Yeah, it's the one we're building is basically a super scaled up version of this i can't freaking wait i think we should have went with bigger tires got 29s maybe i don't know 30s we'll start out with 27 see what it looks like Still in early stages. nice you gonna ride it in sure. remember how to ride it They always, they always start. <laughs> Might have to just babysit the choke a little bit. Just hold it for like a second or two. Let's see if Alex makes it in without killing himself. Oh man, he made it. We gotta back it in and line it up next to it, man. Is this his first time on a three-wheeler? Yeah. And I just let him hop on it like no big deal? <laughs> first time on a truck since the stroller. Yeah, pretty much. That's good. So, is this your first time on a three-wheeler? Uh, I think you let me ride this once before. Once before? Into the trailer. Oh. I like that, yes, yeah, my first time on a three-wheeler. Unreal, you work at BBC Trax and it's your first time. I ride a little 110 around. Yeah, that thing's like fucking monster truck trike over there. Yeah, so the frame clearance right off the bat's gonna be wicked. Yeah, if you guys are going to be ripping in the woods or the mud or anything with water, this is going to be it. It's 
funny seeing it next to it, honestly. Right. It is so much bigger. Same tires, but the suspension, that's where it is. So different. It's honestly hard to imagine a 650 Big Red. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty fun. I know it is. I'm, I, it's just super tall. Um, that's the point. We're, we're going for ground clearance, and uh, it's going to be sick in the mud for sure. I just got to find mud now, which might be hard out in Arizona. I don't know. Monsoon season's coming. Well, when monsoon season gets here, maybe we'll have some mud clips for this thing. But nah, uh, real, realistically, it's going to get shipped to our customer. Definitely build one for ourselves, though, and uh, get some clips. So, if you guys enjoyed, just trying to do a little bit of an update video. So, the triple clamps will be on this thing tomorrow. God, everything's different from the hub to the axle and all that stuff. So, there's a ton of other parts we got to make. But you can see right there the size difference. It's it's going to be sick. So, if you guys like big reds, you like utility trikes, you like trail riding, comment. Uh, definitely subscribe to the channel because we're going to have crazy builds like this coming. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh-huh.